The Kraft Foods Company presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Philadelphia brand is far and away America's favorite cream cheese. That's because it's so creamy white, so delicately rich, and so fresh tasting. But remember, there's only one Philadelphia cream cheese. It's the brand that's made by Kraft and guaranteed fresh. So when you buy cream cheese, always look for the name Philadelphia brand, right on each silvery package. Well, in Summerfield, the early morning sun shines warm and friendly across the water commissioner's desk. Outside, the birds are singing, the grass is sending tender shoots through the soil, and it's the kind of day when the average man has spring fever. And being a big man, the great Gildersleeve naturally has a little more than average. Did you say something, Mr. Gildersleeve? Huh? Oh, no, Bessie. While you're resting, you might bring me the morning paper. Oh, I thought you'd read it. I did, Bessie, but I want to put it under my feet. The mayor always gets upset when he sees scratches on top of my desk. Would you mind waiting one second? I'm reading about the Whistling Bandit. Whistling Bandit? They say he's the most dangerous criminal since Dillinger. Mm -hmm. He struck again, Mr. Gildersleeve. He robbed the post office in Dexter. Dexter? Say, he's getting pretty close. Um, how did they know it was the Whistling Bandit? Well, as he left with the money, the watchman heard him whistling, Pennies from Heaven. That's his theme song. Theme song? Oh, my goodness. What a bandit won't do these days for publicity. My boyfriend says if the police don't catch him soon, he's going to have that song back on the hit parade. <laughs> well, if I ever ran into him, he'd change his tune. Now, Bessie, give me the paper and put your nose to the grindstone. Yes, sir. Whistling bandit. What won't they think of next? Gildersleeve. Oh, good morning, Mayor Twilliger. Good morning, Bessie. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Mayor, come in. Thank you. Uh, Gildersleeve, there's a little something I think you'll enjoy doing. Oh? I just had a telephone call from the game warden, and the fish are biting like mad up at Lake Chester. They are? Well, well. But uh, I don't think I should take his word for it, Gildersleeve. It just occurred to me that the mayor and one of his commissioners who loves the sport should go up there and do some angling. Well, I'm a pretty good angler. <laughs> you can count on me. Good. Then the police commissioner and I can go fishing. Sure. The police commissioner? Well, I knew you wouldn't mind assuming Armstrong's duties for a few days. But, Mr. Mayor, I now, thought... Now, Gildersleeve, of all the city commissioners, you're the most logical one to leave in charge of his department. I am? Since you seem to have so little to do in your own department. Oh. If you look in on Armstrong's office once a day, that'll be sufficient. Now, go ahead and finish reading your newspaper. <laughs> Oh, uh, Gildersleeve. Uh, yes? Of course, there's no extra salary in this for you, but we'll bring you a fish. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I hope he falls in the lake, the old halibut. <laughs> Good to be home. It's been a long day. Tomorrow is going to be a longer one. If I have to do the police commissioner's work, too. Tss, I may not even go to his office. I'm not going to let the mayor push me around. Come on, Aunt. Time for supper. Uh, go ahead, Leroy. I'm not very hungry. What's the matter? Well, the mayor is overworking your poor old Uncle Leroy. At the water department? Are you kidding? Yeah, Leroy, <laughs> let's not be disrespectful. There's plenty to do down there. And the mayor came in today and left me in charge of another department. Yeah? You in charge of streets and sewers again? <laughs> Leroy. Hello, Unky. Uh, hello, Marjorie. Congratulations. Congratulations for what? For being appointed acting police commissioner. Police commissioner? Gee, I didn't know that was it, Unc. Well, Leroy, it's nothing but extra work and no pay, except maybe a fish. Well, it sounds very important to me, Unky. Here it is in the evening paper. It is? 
Today, Mr. Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve, popular city water commissioner, was appointed acting police commissioner. Well, I didn't think they'd put it in the paper. The mayor, before leaving with Commissioner Armstrong on a business trip... Business trip. <laughs> uh, ...stated to the press that he could think of no one who would make a more capable police commissioner than Mr. Gildersleeve. He did? Uh, Leroy, go see if the paper boy on the corner has any extra copies. Okay, huh? Uh... Do? Um, well, he's head of all the police. Yeah? You mean you're even the head of Chief Gates? Well, yes, I most certainly am. Oh, boy, a big shot! <laughs> Little Leroy. <laughs> when do you take over your new duties, Uncle Morris? Yeah, first thing in the morning, my dear. Dinner's on the table. Ain't nobody gonna come and eat. Yeah, well, uh... well, we're all excited, Bertie. Uncle Mort's been appointed police commissioner. Police commissioner? Yeah, of course, I'm still water commissioner, too. <laughs> yes, sir. But you mean you head of all the police? That's right, Bertie. Police commissioner. <laughs> Bertie, what are you laughing at? Oh, just wait till the law whistles at me for jaywalking again. What's this? I say, don't talk to me. Tell it to the police commissioner. Now, Bertie. And wait till they tell me to keep the cans out of the alley. And I say, don't talk to me. Tell it to the police commissioner. <laughs> Bertie, let's not take advantage of this thing. And if one of them fellas ever tells me I'm burning rubbish at the wrong time, you know what I won't tell him, Mr. Gilsey? What, Bertie? I say, don't talk to me. Tell it to the police commissioner. <laughs> Well, maybe I'm going to like being police commissioner. <laughs> uh, this is his office, I guess. Police Commissioner Armstrong on the door. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't have that changed. No, not just for a couple of days. Morning. Ah, uh, good morning. Young man, what are you doing in this office at 9 o'clock in the morning? Oh, I work here. Oh. <clears throat> I'm assistant to police commissioner Armstrong. What's your name? Armstrong. Who? Oh? I'm a relative. Yeah, relative, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Armstrong, I'm the new police commissioner. Yes, I know. Now then, where's the commissioner's desk? Everything's taken care of, Mr. Gildersleeve. If anything comes up, I'll call you at the water department. The water department? Not so fast, relative, uh, Armstrong. <laughs> I was appointed police commissioner, and I'm going to operate from here. Okay. And Armstrong, I've asked police uh, chief Gates to come over here this morning and report. Report what, sir? Well, crime. Oh. So send him in. Oh, nice office here. Quite an arsenal in this cabinet. Yes, sir. That's a display of all the weapons used by the police force. Huh? Very impressive. What's this on the desk? Well, a gold badge. Oh, that belongs to Commissioner Armstrong. I'd better pick it up and lock it up. Never mind. Well, I think I'll pin it on. <laughs> Anybody home? Uh, hello, Judge. Good morning, Gildy. Well, are you giving yourself a medal already for your work in the police department? I'm pinning on my badge, Judge. Well, don't puncture yourself, Gildy. A big balloon like you might explode. <laughs> All right, Hooker, what's on your mind? I'm very busy. Well, I'll only take a minute because I'm double parked downstairs, but I just had to run up and verify my suspicions. What suspicions? That you're neglecting your regular job for this chance to play policeman. Now, Judge... I thought this was your busy day at the water department, Gilday, with all the end-of-the-month collections coming in. Well, if any crimes come in, they'll need me here, too. Oh, balderdash, Gilday. Well, Biggest crime in this town is the way you run that water department, and you know it. <laughs> Watch it, Judge. If someone violated the law, you wouldn't know what to do anyway. Oh, wouldn't I? Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Chief. Hello, Chief. You're just in time. What's up, Mr. Commissioner? Do you have some heels you want me to run down? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You bet I've got a heel, and I want you to arrest him. What? Chief, Judge Hooker just informed me that there's a car downstairs, double parked. But, Gildy, that's my car. <laughs> Give him a ticket, Chief. But, Mr. Gildersleeve, he's the judge. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Give him a ticket. <laughs> but, Gildy! <laughs> I knew I was going to like this job. <laughs> George, I've covered the town pretty well this morning. 
I got a whole notebook full of changes to make in the police department. Better take time out for lunch, though. Oop, look at that woman crossing the street on a red light. Good thing I brought this police whistle. Don't you go shooting that whistle at me. Tell it to the police commissioner. Yeah, hello. Hey, Bertie, I didn't know it was you. Oh, Mr. Gillespie, man, I'm lucky it's you that caught me. <laughs> now, Bertie, let's wait for the light to change. I've been waiting here just like everybody else, but nothing happened. What do you mean? The light's stuck on red. Oh, my goodness. What kind of a police department is Chief Gates run here? Well, I guess the commissioner will have to get out there and direct traffic. <laughs> All right, everybody. Stop. Move. Halt. I know that man. He's the police commissioner. <laughs> Hello, Peavy. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I worked up quite an appetite this morning. May I look at your menu? Well, if you want to. What? Looks just like it did yesterday. Oh? Well, uh, you might give me a Denver sandwich. That's a good selection. Had a nice compliment on our Denver sandwich today. That's so? Traveling man from Denver. Y yeah. <laughs> Hurry up with the sandwich, Peavy. You better give me a double scoop of potato salad and a double malted milk. My, my. Well, if I'm going to be a policeman, I may as well eat like one. <laughs> How's that? Don't tell me you haven't read the paper, Peavy. I didn't say I hadn't read the paper. Well, didn't anything uh, catch your eye? Yes, uh, Daisy May is quite a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy May, Peavy, I wasn't thinking of the comics. I was referring to an article about me being police commissioner. Well, you read what you think is funny, and I'll read what I think is funny. <laughs> Peavy, I'll have you know that I'm in charge of the whole police department for a few days. You don't say. You bet. I've taken over. I imagine you have. What? Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, thank you. Do you know what I've done on my first day, Peavy? Gildy, I've been looking all over for you. Uh, hello, Judge. The first thing I did, Peavy, was to set Chief Gates straight on a few things. Gildy, listen to me for a minute. Judge, stop worrying about your traffic ticket. I can give them out and I can tear them up. That's not it, Gildy. Let go of my coat sleeve. I'm talking to Peavy. Well, are you telling him about the whistling bandit? Don't you worry about the whistling bandit. Nobody's going to get away with anything while I'm in charge. Gildy? What is it, Judge? The whistling bandit has struck Summerfield. Huh? While you were strutting around directing traffic. Oh, my goodness. My, my. I better get out of here. <laughs> Judge, what did he rob? That's what I've been trying to tell you. He robbed the safe at your water department. Oh! <laughs> he can't do that to me. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Ladies, have you seen the tempting new gold nugget salad pictured in the current magazines? Well, don't miss it, because this spring beauty is not only good looking, but such good eating, too. Made with luscious golden can cling peaches from California and delicate white Philadelphia brand cream cheese, gold nugget salad will make a real hit with your folks. And you'll be pleased, because it's so easy to fix. Just divide a package of gloriously rich Philadelphia brand cream cheese into quarters and sprinkle with grated orange rind. Serve those golden nuggets on crisp lettuce with drained California cling peach slices, add maraschino cherry halves, and that's it. Mm-mm, what a wonderful combination. The juicy goodness of cling peaches and the delightful fresh taste of Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Yes, Philadelphia brand is always exquisitely fresh. You see, Kraft makes this cream cheese fresh daily and hurries it to dealers ice cold. Philadelphia brand cream cheese is guaranteed fresh. That's why it's important to get genuine Philadelphia brand when you buy. Look for the name on that famous silvery package, Philadelphia brand cream cheese, guaranteed fresh by Kraft. Well, the day the great Gildersleeve became temporary police commissioner, the dreaded whistling bandit struck Summerfield. 
This is particularly embarrassing to our hero since the bandit's first target was the water department. Now the great man and his secretary are in the office trying to figure out just how it happened. Bessie, where were you when the safe was robbed? Me? I was down having a malted milk. Oh, (laughs) Bessie, one of these days you're going to turn into a malted milk. I hope it's chocolate. (laughs) Let's be serious, Bessie. You shouldn't have left the office. But it was my lunch hour, Mr. Gildersleeve. You always told me if you weren't back by 12 just to leave the door open. I did? Well... Commissioner Gildersleeve. Uh, Hello, Chief. I've been waiting for you. Hello, Chief Gates. Hello, Bessie. Mr. Gildersleeve, have you seen the extra on the streets? Extra? Listen to this. Bandit robs water department while new commissioner has chief of police up a pole fixing traffic light. What's this? Mr. Gildersleeve, when a robbery is committed, up a pole is a very embarrassing place for the chief to be. (laughs) Now, chief... You put the department on quite a spot. This isn't good publicity for us. Well, it isn't good publicity for me either. It is for me. The newspapers took my picture. Oh, please, Bessie. Well, chief... What are you going to do about this? What am I going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What? You know so much about running the department. Run it. But, Chief, I need your help. I don't know why you'd ask the chief of police for help. All I'm good for is to shinny up poles and fix traffic lights. I know that, but... Oh, you do. (laughs) Good day, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, Chief, You got yourself into this. Let's see you get out of it. (laughs) I don't know what the chief is so excited about... The papers say wonderful things about you, Mr. Gildersleeve. They do? Yes, sir. Mr. Gildersleeve, what's a keystone cop? Oh, my goodness. I've been trying to get in touch with you, Chief. Well, I was in Gildersleeve's office. What's up, Armstrong? Well, I telephoned the sheriff and Dexter and got some information on the whistling bandit. He's a smart operator. Oh? He pulls a little job, then hires himself as a detective to catch himself. Then he pulls a bigger job. Say, now, that's pretty clever. I guess I better give this information to Commissioner Gildersleeve, too. There's no use in calling him. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but Police Commissioner Gildersleeve couldn't catch his own big toe. (laughs) What else do you have on the bandit? Well, he's a huge man, armed and desperate. And he's always whistling pennies from heaven. Yes, I know. I wonder where that scoundrel's headed for now. Uh, My first day as police commissioner, Bessie, and I've made a monkey of myself. Yes, sir. The chief's left me. The regular commissioner's gone fishing with the mayor. Bessie, I guess it's up to you and me. Let's try to reenact the crime. Mr. Gildersleeve, you mean we're going to rob the safe, too? No, Bessie. Well, I wish I had some competent help on this thing. Pardon me. What? Is this where I'll find the acting police commissioner? Yes, that's me, Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. My name is Jolly. I have something to talk to you about. Oh, well, have a seat, Mr. Jolly. I'll be with you in just a minute. We've had a little upset here, and if you don't mind, I'd like to get some information from my secretary. Go right ahead, friend. I've got more time than money. <laughs> yeah. Now, Bessie, let's start at the beginning, huh? When you came back from lunch and found the safe had been robbed, did you notice any clues? Clues? I mean, well, did you see any strange fingerprints? How do you tell a strange one? Well, (laughs) well, uh, Uh, the robber didn't leave any fingerprints, friend. What? If you're talking about the whistling bandit, he always wears gloves. I know. Oh? Well, uh... (laughs) Come to think of it, Bessie, how do you know it was the whistling bandit? Well, who else could it be, Mr. Gildersleeve? When I came back from lunch, I heard somebody going down the alley whistling pennies from heaven. Oh, yes. And how does that tune go? Oh, I can't whistle, Mr. Gildersleeve. The whistling bandit sounds like this. (laughs) Well, very good. Thank you. (laughs) Wait a minute. How do you happen to know so much about the whistling bandit? Well, I've been one step behind that man for years. Oh? And that's what I came up here to talk to you about. I'm a part-time detective. You are? Here are my credentials, friend. I've got a lot of them. Uh, Well, nice bad. Thank you. I got that off the head of the detective bureau in Kansas City. (laughs) Very pretty. He must have thought a lot of you. Well, he learned to respect me. (laughs) Say, how would you like to help me catch this whistling bandit? Well, that's a big order, friend. Well, but with all you know about him, it shouldn't be hard. And you whistle just like him. What's that, miss? Bessie, you stay out of this. Yes, sir. 
How about it, Jolly? Will you take the job? Well, I'm pretty busy. There's been a lot of crime lately. Yeah, I know. That's why I need a good detective like you. <laughs> well. Please, Jolly. It means a lot to me. Well, it does to me, too. I'll take the job. Great. I'll get Chief Gates on the telephone and tell him I've hired a private detective. Oh, just a minute. Don't call the chief of police. Why not? Well, you'd like to get all the credit yourself, wouldn't you, Commissioner? Say, that's not a bad idea. You're pretty clever, Jolly. I think so, friend. Uh, George, I'll show Chief Gates. And wait till the mayor comes back. My name will be all over the front page. I can just see the headlines. And so can I. <laughs> now then, how do we go about capturing this crook? Well, he usually follows a little job with a big job. He does? What's the biggest bank in town? Well, uh, uh, First National. Then if I know the Whistling Bandit, that's where he'd like to be tonight. Oh? Say, maybe you and I should set a trap for him there. We can handle that if you can get us in the bank after dark. Hmm. Well, that shouldn't be hard to arrange. I'm the police commissioner. You get us in and I guarantee the bandit will be there. Careful, Mr. Gildersleeve. The whistling bandit is a killer. You're not just whistling, miss. Now, Bessie, <laughs> don't try to frighten Mr. Jolly. He doesn't have a thing to worry about with me along. I sure don't, friend. <laughs> yeah. uh, getting dark, Jolly. Might as well go on in the bank. I'm right behind you, friend. You have a gun, haven't you? Two of them. Good. How about you? Oh, I've got a gun, all right. Mm-hmm. Glad to know that. I brought a tear gas bomb, too. The whistling bandit fools with me. He'll be the crying bandit. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get inside before somebody sees us. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say, this door is hard to open. A lot of banks are hard to get into. Let me try. There you are. <laughs> Say, you're pretty good. <laughs> after you, friend. Oh, no, after you. <laughs> I don't want to be a pig. <laughs> now on, you're in charge. Well, guess I am. Uh, uh, pretty musty in here. Must have taken in a lot of old bills today. <laughs> I hope so. But... Why don't you wait here, friend, while I case the joint? Case the joint? I mean, I'll go back and see where the vaults are. Vaults? Oh, I better go with you. Well, if you want to, that's where the shooting is liable to take place. It is? Mm. Guess I'd better stay up here at that, like you suggested. <laughs> After all, you're in charge. <laughs> that's the kind of cooperation I like, friend. If you see anybody, don't fail to give me plenty of warning. Yeah, don't worry, I will. A uh, nice fella, that jolly. <laughs> So friendly and so helpful. Well, may as well get behind this marble counter. No use taking foolish chances. Quiet in here. Meow. It, what was that? Meow. Oh, a kitty. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, what are you doing in the bank? Looking for a rat, too, eh? <laughs> oh, well, he didn't get it. Well, let's not get nervous, kitty. May as well sit down behind this desk. Darn chair. Dark in here. Wonder if I shouldn't have brought Chief Gates along. For some reason, I don't feel as safe as I did a moment ago. Wonder how long I'll have to wait. How did that tune go? What's that? Oh, that was me, my echo. <laughs> Oop, that wasn't me. Sounds like Jolly. Jolly? Is that you? It's not J. Edgar Hoover, sucker. Yep, sucker? What do you mean by that? What are you doing with all that money? Don't be naive, fat boy. Say, I know who you are. You are the whistling bandit. No use reaching for your gun. I already got it. What? Why, you, you dirty pickpocket. Back up against the wall, Gildersleeve. No, Jolly, I trusted you. That was your mistake. Back up against the wall, fat boy. Look who's talking. Back up. <laughs> I warn you, Jolly, I still have a tear gas bomb, and I'll use it. Shut up. 
I'm going to take care of you and scram out of here. Jolly, you won't get away with this. Shut up and keep backing. I'm backing, but... Oh, darn cat. Gildersleeve, don't drop the tear gas. Oh, oh, oh. It slipped, Jolly. I'll get you, Gildersleeve. Where are you? I can't see. Can't breathe. I better open the window. Over. Now what did I do? Sergeant, flip the handcuffs on that man. He's dangerous. Yes, sir. He won't be hard to handle. He's too full of tear gas. Is uh, Gildersleeve coming around, Mr. Mayor? I think so. Well, give him air, folks. Uh, how do you feel now, Gildersleeve? Uh, all right, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I thought you were fishing. I fell out of the boat, so we came back early. <laughs> you did? Good. I mean, well... Gildersleeve, that was mighty clever of you to open the window and set off the burglar alarm. That took fast thinking. Well, I did it fast, all right. <laughs> Where's the... Uh... Whistling Bandit. He's handcuffed right there on the floor. He is? Oh, hello, sucker. <laughs> uh, Guess he can't wave back. Oh, Gildersleeve, the city is proud of you. How would you like to become permanent police commissioner? Well... Oh, think it over, Gildersleeve. Now we want to get a picture of you for the press. Would you mind demonstrating exactly how you routed the bandit? Oh, no. I'll be glad to, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Chief, hand me one of your tear gas bombs. Anything you want, Commissioner. Yeah, uh, thank you, old boy. Uh, stand back, folks. <laughs> well, I was standing right here, and the bandit was coming toward me with three guns. Two of his and one of mine. Great. <laughs> yeah, here I was, armed only with a tear gas bomb. I knew it was him or me, Mr. Mayor, but I couldn't let the city down. So I grabbed the tear gas bomb like this. Hoop, 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 look out! <laughs> Mayor, <laughs> I'll open the window. Oh, Fred, the heck with this job. I want to stay water. The great Gildersleeve will be back in just a moment. They say that in the spring, a young man's fancy turns to thoughts of love. But you homemakers, well, I'll bet your fancy turns to fresh-tasting foods to brighten up your spring menus. For instance, wonderfully fresh-tasting Philadelphia brand cream cheese made by Kraft. Now, there's a food that's always exquisitely fresh. You see, famous Philadelphia brand cream cheese is made fresh every day in shining Kraft plants from coast to coast. Then it's hurried to food stores and ice-cold trucks and cars. That's why this cream cheese is guaranteed fresh by Kraft. So perk up your menus with delicate, white, gloriously rich Philadelphia brand cream cheese for nutritious lunchtime sandwiches, for extra good desserts, for really fresh-tasting salads. Just be sure you get genuine Philadelphia brand, the cream cheese that's guaranteed fresh by Kraft. <laughs> Folks, maybe I haven't had much experience as police commissioner, but for three hours I've been grilling the whistling bandit, and now he's ready to make a complete confession. And I thought you'd like to hear it. Go ahead, Jolly. Crime does not pay. Thank you, Mr. Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve is played by Harold Perry. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White, with music by Jack Meekin. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Earl Ross, and Richard Legrand. This is John Wald saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. And be sure to listen next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. You bet. Did you ever take a slice of cold meatloaf and add a touch of Kraft's prepared mustard? Try it, because when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Every bite has more zest. There are two kinds of Kraft mustard. Light, delicately spiced solid mustard for those who like their mustard mild, and Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Be sure to get both kinds. Then you'll be ready for luncheon, supper, or a midnight snack. Remember, just add a little mustard and you add a lot of tang. Get Kraft's prepared mustard.
This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.